Alright, so you've probably seen these Korean cheese corn dogs all over YouTube, and it's something I've been wanting to do for a while now. So today, I'm going to show you how to make this classic street food. Spoiler alert before we begin, this will be my first time making these. So if I somehow manage to pull this off, maybe give it a like and consider subscribing. I release new episodes every Wednesday. Now obviously, the first thing we need to talk about is the hot dog itself. It doesn't matter what you use, I'm using all beef because that's what I grabbed. But pork, chicken, and vegan all work just fine. You can even buy fish dogs at Korean markets, which are pretty darn tasty on their own. For the cheese, I'm using mozzarella, because I want that gooey stringiness you'd only get with mozzarella. But again, you can use whatever your heart desires. You do you. I'm also going to use some Spam, because I had a small piece in my fridge and I thought, hey, why the hell not? You're also going to need a skewer of some kind. I'm sure there are much better ones to use for this, but these bamboo ones are what I had, and they work just fine. The last thing we'll need is some yeast, because unlike the western style corn dog made with a thick corn batter, these ones are made using a bread like dough. So the first thing we're going to make is the dough. In a small bowl, combine warm water, it should be roughly the temperature of bath water, and sugar. Stir it until the sugar dissolves, and then add the yeast. The sugar in warm water will help to feed the yeast and get it started. Then in a large bowl, combine all-purpose flour, bread flour would probably work well in this too, and kosher salt. Give it a good whisk, then make a well in the center. Slowly add the yeast water in the center, and gently whisk to combine everything. Since this is a dough and not a batter, it's not going to be completely smooth and liquid, so don't worry if it's not fully mixed together. Tap off the excess from the whisk and, okay, maybe tap it a bit more. It, still? A few more taps maybe. And got it. Wrap the bowl in plastic wrap and place it somewhere nice and warm for about an hour. If you have a proofing setting on your oven like mine, definitely use that, but it'll be fine if you don't. For the hot dogs, I'm just going to cut them into small bite-sized pieces, a little less than half of one. I'm doing the same for the Spam, only this time I'm going to cut them into roughly the same shape and size as the hot dog. And if you think this is creepy, try seeing it in reverse. Pure nightmare fuel. And again, I'm just doing the same with the mozzarella that I did with the Spam. Everything needs to be roughly hot dog shaped, and you're better off going small with these, since we'll be putting one piece of meat and one piece of cheese on each skewer. Going small will definitely help. Time to skewer. Now I'm sure I could ramble for a solid minute here about how to skewer a hot dog, but really, what is there to say? Make sure it's in the center? Oh, and the cheese too. After frying the first one, I quickly realized that I had the skewer sitting out at room temperature for a bit too long, and the cheese basically liquefied. So the one thing I will say is to put the finished skewers in the fridge or freezer for a good 5-10 to 10 minutes before battering. Place a heavy bottom pot on high heat and fill with a good 2-3 to three inches of canola oil. You want the oil to be around 370 degrees Fahrenheit, so the temperature will be 350 degrees Fahrenheit when you put the cold corn dogs in. Whenever frying things, it's always best to have a resting rack. It allows the oil to be drained off faster, resulting in a crispier finish, but paper towel will also work just fine. By now, the dough should be finished proofing and be doubled in sized, with a wet and tacky texture. We're going to be rolling the corn dog in panko breadcrumbs, so you'll need some in a container or bowl, along with some cornstarch to dredge them in to help the batter stick. Now, I've made corn dogs quite a few times in the past, and they're pretty easy. This is something entirely different though. And as you can see, it was a bit tricky to do, so my first one was a little haggard looking, and I ended up with a bit too much dough. Gently place the corn dog in the fryer, and to ensure an even browning on the outside, keep it moving and rolling. Since the meat on the inside is already cooked and just needs to be warmed up, you only need to cook these until they get nice and golden brown on the outside. Mine took roughly 4-5 to five minutes. For the next one, I changed my tactic slightly. I opted to allow gravity to pull the dough down to more evenly coat the corn dog. I also used a bowl of water to wet my hands so that I could shape them a bit without them sticking. The result was much better this time. Once they're all fried and cooling down a bit, take a plate and cover it with sugar and a bit of kosher salt. Then roll the corn dogs back and forth so they're mostly coated. Now comes by far the funnest part. Place the corn dog on a plate and drizzle it with mustard and ketchup. And that's it. Korean cheese corn dog. 
So the first one I ate was the Spam one, and although the texture was a lot nicer in the hot dog one, I gotta say the Spam was my favorite. The sugar on the outside is pretty interesting too. If I had to pick, I'd probably just go for salt, but the combination of sugar, fried, ketchup and mustard was very reminiscent of summer fare or carnival food, and that's not a bad thing in my book. So definitely give it a try. I recently started a coffee page, so if you like my channel and are interested in helping to support it, you can click on the link in the description. But liking and subscribing is also appreciated. Thanks for watching, and keep being awesome.